I'm Corey Robin. Ride along with me and the Flying Cowboys as we take you flying into the backcountry where there's no runway required. folks uh just uh playing around enjoying the tropics down here in the bahamas treasure k is where we're above right now i'm 2,000 feet above the water So I decided to climb up to uh, to see if the photos were better above these clouds. They're pretty good from up here. So you get the shadow effect. It's gorgeous. You put a filter on to shoot through the front. There we go. Looking at the front. Beautiful day. You just amazing. Just gorgeous. So looking out over Treasure K. Beautiful resorts down there. And flying around in a cub in the Caribbean, in the Bahamas is just amazing. More people should do it. I know they're slow, but man, it's amazing. Gorgeous. crossing this one's about 60 miles 65 miles from governor's harbor to north eleuthera i am here above the beautiful blue of the bahamas that water is deep and blue and gorgeous look at this storm behind me it was crazy raining on us and we're like well let's put that thing in the rearview mirror so this is kind of a a gamble. <laughs> we are probably not able to turn around. So we've got about 30 minutes over the water, 35 minutes over the water, and we're going to climb up a few thousand feet to uh, catch some air conditioning. Okay, YouTube, let's play What Would You Do? I've got this little developing cloud right in front of me on my course. I'm cruising at 5,500 on a water crossing. It's clear to the right, it's clear to the left, looks like it's anviling a little to the left. What would you do? Over, around, to the right, over, around, to the left. You want to go around it to the left, to the right, over it, under it, through it. 
What would you do on a VFR flight plan, sports fans? What would you do, YouTube? I'm curious to know. I'll uh, release in a future video, or maybe in the comments below, what I did. So I'm actually not going to film what I did because I'm more interested in learning what you would do. So I'm coming up on it quick. I'm about five minutes away from punching right through it. You can see there's a lot of vertical development. It's masking the island. On the other side, that's my destination. You can see the island there and the island there. And it is right dead smack in the middle of my course. So do you go all the way around it? Would you fly under that anvil, anvil part that's developing? Or would you go to the right? Or would you try and just punch right through because you just don't want to turn? What would you do? Okay, folks, I just wanted to show you my beautiful descent into Eleuthera. I'm actually going to fly around. There's Russell Island over there to the right. Quite populated. I'm sure there's a water taxi service just right over on the spit right over here. Boow! That takes you over to Russell. And a uh, little stormy. We, uh, of course, had to go through that uh, little section where we either went left or right. I didn't go over it. I didn't go under it. I either went left or right. I'm interested to see what you guys are going to say, so I won't say what I did. Got a boat coming up. I'm still 1,500 feet off the water in a descent, and I'm going to go. Uh, if you look out over the horizon there, there's what we call Harbor Island, where there's a pink sand beach. So I hope to go fly past that, check out the pink sand beach. Holy cow, folks, I gotta take this life jacket thing off. We just landed on a beach. Oh yeah, we're gonna go swimming. This is gorgeous. Five feet in the water, waist deep in glory. Oh, look at this beach we found to land on. Oh my goodness. Check out that shot right there. Does it get better? I think not. All the flying cowboys should have come on this trip. Unbelievable. Look at this water. Oh. Pay no attention to the white man in the water. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Woo. Oh, so nice. And the sand, let me grab a handful. I don't know if you can see it. But the sand is pink. It's pink. Pink sand. Can you believe that? Unbelievable. It's gorgeous. It's probably from pink coral in the area. And, but it's pink. I was actually really shocked when I landed. I'm like, I took my sunglasses off because I was, I thought I was experiencing euphoria of some sort. But look at that. I don't know if you could see it, but it is pink sand. Unbelievable. Oh, the cow. I'm just floating around in the water with my cell phone on my little, uh, cool little Joby. A Joby mount. Oh, look at this little guy coming to say hello. Hello, little seaweedy weirdo. Look at that. They're floating around. Just so beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh. The 
this is so awesome. I don't think you're ever gonna get me to take off again. I'm just loving Eleuthera. Definitely one of my favorite islands. Just in time. Love the Bahamas.